Ce jour-là, le lundi 21 décembre, l'idée m'est venue, brusque, précise, définitive, que Françoise serait ma femme. My Night at Mods is a 1969 French film by Eric Romer. The film is part of a series entitled Six Moral Tales, which were largely talkative films that discussed and explored philosophical ideas based around morally conflicted characters. My Night at Mods is no exception, framing the story around a young man named Jean-Louis, who is a Christian, yet has had several sexual encounters in his past. He begins to be attracted to a woman he sees at church, blonde, collected, and Catholic, which he later learns is Françoise. He meets his old friend Vidal by chance. Vidal invites him over to spend the night at a friend's house. C'est une femme remarquable, tu verras, une des rares filles bien. Tu seras ravi de la connaître, elle aussi. Maud is the opposite of Françoise. Black hair, heavily secular, and modern. Jean-Louis bears no sexual desire for Maud at first, but throughout the night, he grows a temptation for her. And by the end, although he does not sleep with her, he does sleep in her bed. He becomes stuck between these two women, even though the choice would be obvious for him. In the end, he chooses Francoise and has a happy life with her. My Night at Mods is a test of faith for Jean-Louis. The idea of desire and reason versus faith and religion is tested for Jean-Louis. Throughout the night with Maud, he begins to grow fond of her. Quand on aime vraiment une fille, on n'a pas envie de coucher avec une autre. Y a pas de problème. <laughs> Eventually, a desire for her grows, and this is where the test begins. The reasonable thing to do is to submit to these desires, which are entirely logical. On est tard. Où est cette chambre? Nulle part. However, due to his Catholic ideals, he does not engage in his desires, he resists them. The resistance of temptation is a big aspect of the film altogether. He is giving up reason for his religion, essentially. Therefore, the film poses the point of the struggle between faith and reason. The film constantly references mathematician and philosopher Blaise Pascal. Jean-Louis is revisiting Pascal's book Pensée and finds it rather disappointing upon revisiting it. Ah tiens Pascal, ça t'étonne. C'est curieux, je suis justement en train de le relire en ce moment. Et alors this is ironic because Pascal, in a sense, is Jean-Louis. They are both mathematicians obsessed with history and sex. They both lived in Clermont. And in finding Pascal disappointing, he's finding himself disappointing in his actions. Tu t'intéresses aux mathématiques. Un philosophe a de plus en plus besoin de connaître les mathématiques. Pascal was quoted as writing, We don't have the right to love. And according to Pascal, we only have the right to love God. Jean-Louis loathes his actions because, unlike Pascal, he does not only love God. Throughout the film, there is a frequent mention of the meaning of history. But most importantly, Jean-Louis continuously insists that history has no meaning, when Vidal and Maud insist it does. When Jean-Louis is saying this, it is exhibiting both a justification for his past and possibly a glaring contradiction in his faith. But let's start with the justification. Jean-Louis says that history has no meaning in order to justify his past. His past is riddled with relations with various women that contradict his current views. Tu sais, quand je l'ai connu, c'était un remarquable coureur de filles, un spécialiste. Tu m'as connu quand j'avais 10 ans. He is adamantly persuasive in that history has no meaning. This demonstrates that he, in fact, is also having trouble being a Christian. Vous êtes catholique? Oui. Mais catholique pratiquant? Ben oui. Jean-Louis knows that Christianity places a deep importance on history, and he wants to forget his past, which contradicts his Christian ideals. 
Therefore, he is struggling to be a Christian because of the fact he has to acknowledge the past to be a good Christian. The contradiction is that despite the fact that Jean-Louis says that history has no meaning, it obviously does for him. One, because of the justification, and two, because of his faith, it's quite simple. A. Religion places an importance on history. B. Jean-Louis is a committed Catholic. If A and B are true, then history has a meaning. Additionally, seeing as Vidal always brings up Jean-Louis's past and Maud always attempts to pry into Jean-Louis's past, it demonstrates that the secular plays a deep importance on history due to the fact it is the reasonable thing to do. Et Marie-Hélène, quelle mémoire! Je ne sais absolument pas ce qu'elle est devenue. Elle est entrée au couvent. Non. Qui est cette Marie-Hélène? By contrast, the two Catholics in the film want to forget about their history. Vous ne parlez jamais de tout cela. Tu veux bien? Ne parlez jamais. Their desire to forget despite their faith is a contradiction proving that history has a meaning for them, as we mentioned before. This is a thematic pillar for Romer within the film. He emphasizes the importance of history. One of the most important symbolic figures in the film is Maud herself. Her character is very complex because she represents several things. The sexual revolution of the 60s, Pour le moment, j'avoue que je ne fais pas très marquise de Rambouillet. The explosion of secularism. Je trouve que le mariage est une condition fort basse. As well as the antagonizing force against Christian ideals. Moi, quand je dis oui, c'est oui. Et quand c'est non, c'est non. The sexual revolution was very open-minded in their freedom. And Maud is very clearly an example of that. She basically tries to get Jean-Louis to sleep with her almost entirely for her own amusement. Of course, one can also see that she exemplifies secularism, because she talks about it constantly, as well as the fact that she is anti-Christian, and therefore represents an antagonizing force against Christianity because she tempts Jean-Louis to commit sin, very skillfully, while still respecting the fact that he is a Christian. Je croyais que tout chrétien devait aspirer à la sainteté. Interestingly enough, Ma does not seem like an antagonistic character, because Romer was very efficient in having all his characters bear balanced qualities. The brilliance of Romer's Minot at Mods is it is deeply unbiased. It is pointing out the faults on both sides. The contradiction in Christianity being that not acknowledging history as a Christian when Christianity places an importance on history. And the other side, the secular Vidal and Mode who bear a pompousness towards Christianity when in fact they are wrong to criticize it being their knowledge is no greater than a Christian's. Romer, a Christian himself, would not have condemned his own faith. And this film is a demonstration of his ability to be a truly unbiased artist, despite his faith. Six heures trente. 